So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video was recorded in early access as both THQ Nordic and Nine Rocks Games were kind enough to allow me to take part in the early access for Way of the Hunter. So once again a huge thank you for that. Now saying that, this was actually recorded in practically the last day of early access. This was recorded last night and of course today there was the official release for this game. Now, this video is all about the fallow deer that we're taking a look at on screen right now. I have shared these images on, I think, a previous video and in the discords, etc. of this huge four-star fallow deer that I've been keeping an eye on on my map for most of the early access. Basically, since I found him, I have just been keeping an eye on him, waiting to see if he would grow any bigger. Now this clip was actually in one of the last videos I posted of his herd where I took out a much smaller individual buck, but you will have seen the big four star go running past there. Now I decided that I thought that that buck had a little bit more potential. He was a four star mature, I didn't want to shoot him. I thought he had a little bit more in him just looking at his condition. I thought that buck could just get a little bit bigger and maybe perhaps make it to five star. Now I knew that the animals do obviously grow and mature in this game and I had heard reports of other people finding four star matures that then turned into five stars later on. And sort of thinking about all of this and just looking at this buck, I like I said, I just thought he might have it in him to just get a little bit bigger. Well last night I was deciding basically I'd have sort of one last check around before, you know, today and the end of the early access because I didn't know whether we'd get to keep anything from the early access. It does appear that we are getting to keep everything from the early access at this point, but last night I had really no idea. So I decided, okay, let's go out for one last look around and for one thing, go and look and see if anything has changed with this fallow deer that I've been watching. Now, I knew where he basically lived. I knew a lot of the areas he frequented. Um, I had a couple of zones from him, but mostly I just knew the areas where he liked to hang out. And I went to one of those spots, spotted his herd, and saw him running over the hill. And I thought, gosh, you look a little bit bigger than before, I think, even. He was a beast before, but I thought, that just looks just a little bit bigger. I could see the sides of his palms out in the sun as he was running across this hillside. And I couldn't get a spot on him to see if he'd actually turn into a five star. So I followed the, the call that we got from the herd there and just kind of tried to sneak up over here to see where they were. Now I'm going really, really careful here as I got a, a well, I assume it was a call, either a call or a noise um, made by one of the herd that was really close. It was within a hundred meters, it said. So I'm just being very careful here. And I figured they must be in this little dip that was on this uh, on this bit of a ridge here. And that they must be just in there, tucked away where I couldn't quite actually see them. Which is just something that deer would do in real life. So I was just using that kind of logic and playing with that. And just as I moved here, I could see the palms, got up and spotted him. And it's a five star mature. Holy... You can see they're getting another call or another noise made by one of the males in that group. Could even be him. But oh my gosh, <laughs> five star mature fallow deer. So I've had the five star red deer the day before and now a five star fallow. Oh my gosh, did this pay off just watching him. This just paid off so, so much. Just knowing and having it in the back of my head to keep an eye on this buck the whole time. And then he turns into a five star. I can't explain. It kind of felt like I had some kind of like rapport with this animal because I'd seen him so much, you know, many times looked at him through the scope trying to judge whether I thought I should leave him or take him. I must have nearly shot this buck 20 times easily just because he was just so magnificent as even a four star. And then obviously from those photos you'll have seen I had him run out in front of the vehicle at least that time, maybe even other times as well. And, you know, to see him turn into a five star, it just felt so much more connected and involved. I'd, you know, it was a really quite interesting experience. And it was like, oh, gosh, this animal I've been watching, you know, it is the same individual and he's actually got bigger. And that's just an incredible feeling to have from a game. And yeah, again, just completely sells me on this. It's just such a cool system that they have for this game. 
Now, the herd did sort of move up through this bit of a dip, and then they started heading, heading into some of the trees. Again, sort of like what deer would do in real life. And that's basically how I sort of guessed where they'd gone. And I was just watching here as the, the group was alert because I was moving around. And you'll see that some of the does are still keeping an eye out. And I was just watching them to see if they were going to calm down and start feeding back down this way or what they were going to do. You still got that doe looking really alert there, but the rest of the group seemed to have calmed down. And if anything, they seemed to be moving back into the trees. Now, I waited and watched as I could just see the body of one of them still amongst the trees. And then this happened. So this buck is another one in this group that I've been keeping an eye on. He's a three star mature. And I've been referring to him as the son of the big buck. Now, I know that that's illogical. It's a video game. But, you know, he's in the same herd. And I've been watching him at the same time as watching the big four star. And it kind of felt like the four star's the boss of the group. And then you've got this one, which is the, the up and comer. And it was interesting to me how that buck came out of those trees and was walking along sort of the the line there sort of the skyline with the trees behind him but watching me very carefully the whole time and i was hoping that because he was going that way that the rest of the herd might and you can just see as i'm scoping in and out you can just see him moving along that line keeping an eye on me which again so realistic this is exactly what deer do when i've spent time photographing deer this is exactly how they behave out in, in nature. You get one that's just going to try and see what's going on. And you'll have the others sort of hanging back. And I knew that that big mature was going to be somewhere in the back, probably. You know, no way was he going to step out first. And so I'm just watching here the whole time. And I could just see some antlers moving around there. You kind of It kind of looks weird. It's like they're almost glitching through the grass. But I could see antlers. I could see the shape of that big buck's antlers. And I was hoping, okay, maybe he'll come out following, following the other buck. But he didn't. And I was still being watched by this now stationary buck that was practically opposite me. And I decided to get up here and just see which direction this buck is going and if he's still watching me. At that point, he had stopped watching me. And you'll see, that's still a really nice looking buck. But you can just see the antlers of the big boy there. But he's just not giving me any kind of shot. And it's just interesting to me how I can just keep an eye this whole time on that skyline where those trees are. And you can just see the rest of the herd start to, you know, start to walk through there and walk across that, that line. And they're still all watching me. And it was just so tense. It's like, please don't spook. Please don't spook. Because trying to track a herd that you've spooked is so difficult. As I talked about in the Five Star Red Deer video. You know, I tracked that stag for over two hours. And then eventually found him where I'd seen him initially. Which was crazy. But you just don't want them to spook. Because, you know, they can end up dying. And the last thing I wanted to do was spook a Five Star Mature try and track him for hours and hours and hours eventually have to reset the time because it's gotten dark not find him and then have him go off and die and i would rather just be really really patient like i, I was with the red deer unfortunately but the two shots got taken by the trees but i didn't want that to happen with this guy i was so aware of where the trees were and everything just making sure that hopefully when i would get the shot i'd get the shot and sure enough he stands there perfectly and I just quickly take a vital shot at him and I knew that, that that felt solid. And you can actually see him running away there and he's definitely sort of stumbling. He's going down and he just goes over the, uh, the ridge there. Oh man, I pick up the blood and it's, it's medium amount of blood with air bubbles. It's bright pink and he really didn't go far after he'd gone over the, over the crest of that ridge. What an incredible buck. What an incredible buck. If I saw a buck like this in real life, I'd be so, so excited. And to see how well they've captured a big fallow deer in this game is crazy. Now, of course, I had to jump into photo mode and take some, pic like, some trophy pictures of this guy. It's just incredible. The way that they've captured everything a trophy fallow deer should be in this is just awesome the way the antler curls in which is just to me such a, a characteristic of just a huge really class buck the huge guard tine which is the the lowest tine on the back of the palm there 
and of course all of the beautiful really well defined spellers which are the points around the palm on the fallow deer antler just incredible and of course the the brow and bay time so the first and second time going up the antler it's just so well done and so well modeled and the detail is just fantastic like i said those spellers around there look incredible and just the huge guard time like i said that was one of the things i thought when he had you know when he had the four star antlers but you can see it's just a big hook that last time on the on the bottom of the palm there you could, should be able to see it that huge guard time is incredible oh just incredible 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 buck such a beautiful coat as well and just such an incredible model for the animal just uh, <laughs> blown away blown away blown away and i know i've said that a lot during the, my time playing this throughout early access but this this game has completely captivated me the detail the realism i just love it i just love it the way that these animals look and the fact that they are so close to especially with you know the red deer the roe deer the fallow deer they are so close to what i see in real life and you know seeing trophies like this are just exactly what i associate with with like a real life trophy fallow in this case and i was just completely just in awe i'm so incredibly grateful that i managed to actually take this buck finally as a five star after all that time watching him 98.97 on the percentage for the genetics there five star trophy rating five star hunt rating as well which is nice to have gotten and yeah just amazing 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 i couldn't be more fortunate i've been so incredibly lucky during this early access i feel like i've learned a good bit to go forwards and especially with this buck in particular it was a, a really good learning curve about watching this guy mature and watching his herd and how he's actually progressed and it will be interesting to see if that three star mature gets to a four star or maybe maybe even a five star in the end so we'll have to keep an eye on him but this is one i think this is probably my crowning achievement trophy trophy from the early access just because of the the time spent watching this guy and he actually scores 496 now every animal in the game maxes at 500 in score at the moment that's how the scoring system works everything maxes at 500 so to get 496 is pretty darn incredible and it's actually the highest overall score out of all of the five stars i've taken so far out of the the red deer the white tail and now the fallow deer this is the highest scoring one overall which i know doesn't make a whole lot of sense but in the way that this scoring system is kind of standardized this is the biggest one basically so yeah absolutely insane i am so so incredibly just pleased and grateful uh, i hope that that comes through and i'm so thrilled i couldn't wait to get this guy in the trophy lodge and that's exactly what we're going to do is go and put him in the trophy lodge and just admire how awesome of a buck this is he is just absolutely gigantic absolutely incredible the big fallow deer in real life look awesome and they've just done such a cool job of capturing and capturing that you can see why they're called mini moose by some people those antlers are just seriously incredible and i know i'm probably just rambling at this point about how happy i am but i do want that to come across and i really hope that it does because you know i do spend a lot of time playing these games whether it's you know call of the wild classic or now way of the hunter and when you finally get a trophy like this when you've been watching or working on it it's such an incredible feeling and like i said this one to me was just particularly special because of actually watching him develop and that is something i'm looking forward to as we continue to play the game is to see young animals with potential actually growing up and seeing how they mature and whether they'll mature into five stars and you know imagine the possibility of finding like a young rare that's got good potential and then watching that animal grow and of course it's going to be obvious if it's a rare which animal in the herd that's going to be you know it's going to stand out and watching the progression and i think the journey and the life of that animal in game i think is really something something unique and i really do think that they hit the nail on the head with everything they've done with this game and i am just so incredibly happy now like i said we are going to put this guy in the trophy lodge and i was debating on where i was actually going to put this guy i kind of thought about doing a full body mount but then i kind of decided i wanted him to go here in place of this three star row and i just like 
these sort of pedestal mounts. I think they look really, really nice. And I mean, this guy just looks incredible. As soon as you see him there on that, I just thought he looked so impressive. And yeah, just taking a look at that, the width on those antlers and everything just looks incredible in the trophy lodge. And of course, I had to go into photo mode and just take another look at him now he was in the trophy lodge and try and get some some nice pictures and stuff ready to make thumbnails and everything and i just couldn't wait to share this video today this again happened like two o'clock last night so two days running at about 2 a.m i've been hunting a five star animal down and yeah that's kind of crazy how that's worked out the five stars are genuinely hard to get in this game and it's a real rush seeing that five star mature pop up it's like oh gosh now we've got a job to do we've got to get that animal down and you know try and get everything done right before this animal actually goes off and expires naturally so yeah just incredible but that is going to be it for this video guys and this is going to be the last of my early access content now of course the game is out for everyone so it's going to be live on the various platforms that it's going out on uh, the new xbox series ps5 and pc so yeah that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always and you know especially during this early access it's been incredible to to see all your guys' responses and yeah i can't wait to see what happens now this game is live i can't wait to see all the trophies people are going to shoot it's going to be really really exciting but that is going to be it for this video thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you